Okay, what we have here is the movie Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. This is going to be a brief video that is going to show you the exact same thing that we saw in Gangs of New York. And I mean, I'm telling you, this thing is going to really reveal itself for what it is as who has got the plan for this faked asteroid-like millstone crashing off the coast of New York City. It's all in here. The signature, once again, we'll see some major connections. Uh, I am going to return to the series Sacred Feminine and go further with uh, the movie Gangs of New York. And I have some incredible scripture to show you, the parable word of Jesus Christ. So check out that video. It's going to be coming sometime today. Now back to the beginning of this movie, Fantastic Four. I'm going to do my best to uh, show you the symbols in here that will be consistent with what we looked at. The four, obviously, the 44, we're going to see that being doubled up and symbolically displayed over and over again in this movie. Uh, I've done my best to get rid of the glare from the windows here, but as you can see, it's definitely still there. The beginning of the movie is showing you the destruction of a planet that is now connected to this thing that is known as the Silver Surfer, which you see now being depicted as like a meteor or a comet. Please continue to watch here. Remember what I said about this coming from the dark side of the moon, right? There's our moon. There's the moon. And now they're going to show the assemblage of the reverse side. And then now there's that comet coming from the dark side of the moon. Watch how this sets up. Exactly what we described with Shinar. Exactly what we described with the high hand of Ephraim. Avon, that high place. And then this is where the destruction is going to come from. That's what the Spirit's given me over 20 plus years ago. There it is. There's the symbol for this meteor-like asteroid symbolically coming to our world. They're going to show it coming directly to New York City as we move forward in this, this uh, video here. Something very important. And there's, there's a message here. This is about major calamities that are taking place all over the world. There goes the meteor comet-like thing now watch what they show here is the signature for all these things happening with our world that are anomalous look at the numbers on the boat 666 666 six, six, six. that is the signature and notice how they've coded it into the character on this last one here that is the signature for who's doing this. Of course, as we saw in the reflection of the house of Jacob, the beast symbolism, they're doing the work to bring the beast in. And then we know that in scriptural terms, they are referred to as lesser antichrists, lesser leviathans. In other words, beasts that are doing this work. That is the hidden code and symbolism for who is responsible for all these wacky anomalous weather patterns that are leading up to this coming destruction at New York City as this movie is saying it's not saying that it's coming from God right like these channels are seeking to teach unless their God is the beast and that's really what you would confer with this false bride that is all about this supposed Ison comet which ain't going to do nothing and it's, if these people are really thinking they're going to be lifted up from some event with this Ison thing, I mean, come on. But nonetheless, this is the assemblage for what they're waiting on. And then they're connected to this Church of Laodicea. What we're going to see being depicted before our eyes as this super wealthy power elite. And then we know that we have... Uh, there are members that are seeking to get into this that might not be the most powerful and they're hoping to do this work to prove themselves worthy so that they can get in. All right. This is all coded into this movie. Let's please continue. So the next scene, 
notice that now over Egypt we have assemblage with this comet. What they say here is absolutely important because it's just happened in connection with this comet Ison, has it not? We had snow in Egypt and Israel, if I'm not mistaken, recently. And then that's exactly what they are showing here, which this movie was done way before this time, which shows you this is a planned event where they're putting out codes and assemblages and even fulfill it, fulfill, seeking to fulfill it in our own world, showing their initiates that they're in control and at the same time giving them some sort of expectation for what's to come. Now what you're going to see being said here on the bottom There's the snow, for it just happened. Uh, I thought they were going to have a caption for it, but maybe we, uh, there's blackouts that are associated with what's going to happen. Okay, same assemblages we've already seen at big games that have had blackouts. I'm going to rewind this and see if I can capture what is being said here at the bottom. Okay, I think they probably comment on it later in the movie. Anyway, we've just had this event. And then if you would want to see the symbolism connected with Ison, it's being shown to you beforehand in this movie. They are telling you that they are creating this world stage as they see fit. Once again, we're seeing this thing, like I said, connected with blackouts that are going to be global. It's going to take it all down. It's going to take the whole world grid system down. And that's what they're saying, that it's connected to that symbolism of this comet asteroid-like object coming from the dark side of the moon. Now, what is this all focalized upon right there? It's focused on a fantastic wedding. And that's exactly what we see. Who's promoting it? Well, that would be the fox, right? which Jesus Christ is talking about in relationship to Herod, and he calls him that, that crafty fox in essence. We see the same craft of deception and symbolism with the fox being promoted of what? This fantastic wedding. Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman. We well, you know who the Invisible Woman is. It's the goddess image of the sacred feminine. Mr. Fantastic, look, he's got the crown over his head there. Well, that's going to be the fallen prince, who's just so fantastic to these people. Once again, we see fourth times the charm, and then we're dealing with the Fantastic Four. That's the 44 right there. This whole thing is an assemblage of a wedding. Now, look at the names for the people that are getting wed here. Reed Richards... Susan Storm. Reed Richards is the lead character of the comic book uh, series Fantastic Four done by Marvel. And what we see is that it's RR, which is the mirror, and then SS, which is the mirror, coming together. Once again, the polar opposition of the mirror being united, the double, it's all there. I want you to see that throughout this movie, you might not be able to see it because the imaging on the phone is not well, but throughout this entire movie, or from the beginning, she's depicted with blonde hair, and then they gradually increase the red dye of her hair, and she becomes more redheaded as the movie goes on. Incredible. Incredible. Um, a few more important things to see here. This individual, it's highly symbolic. This rock-like guy, he's giving the kids this magical dust. There we go. Here's the same thing that's being shown to you in the movie Gangs of New York. What China pattern did you pick out? And remember what I already showed you in the movie Saturn Agents. How in the... Oh my gosh, in the Theosaurus, in the Thesaurus, when we looked up Saturn, it led us to the unchecked.
remember the bull was going to crash it all up. Notice what this movie is saying here. The code is going to be the exact same thing. Okay, I need to go back just a little further. Thing about dust again, remember the monatomic gold. Bizarre things happening all around the world. Okay, there we go. And all the media want to know about what China patterns Sue and I picked out as talking about that pretty white China in association for the wedding. Look what the rock says to him. And remember what we learned about the blue and the Masons and the other movie who are really not being destroyed. They're really being lifted up and going somewhere. But as I told you, it's the extra special power elite of them that are being lifted up, that are being invited to this wedding on the moon, Shinar. And that's exactly what this movie is going to convey. He says, hey, which one did you pick? The blue ones with them little flowers? And of course, that's talking about the blues, who we saw are the ones that are gonna be picked to be lifted up as they were depicted coming out of that fallen down White House. Absolutely incredible. Just a little further here. There's really so much to see here with the symbolism. I'm just going to kind of, once again, try to keep this video short. Uh, don't take this lightly. It's in every movie they're making. And they're considered, most of you people, blind because you can't see it. Very important symbolism right here. Okay. They're going to show New York City right here. I want you to realize the caption that this rock thing creature says right before the Statue of Liberty appears, the assemblage for New York City, the sacrifice location by fire. He says, I hope it rains. I hope it rains. Now we're talking about this rain by fire as what they're talking about. And look what image they're going to show next for this hoping of the rain. Right there, New York City. <clears throat> And then there's New York City. That's who they hoping it's going to rain on. And that's exactly what they're telling you in this movie as we move forward. And then there's our little boat once again with the 666 on it. This is important. Because what you're going to see here is that the media is setting up the psyops. They're saying it's ruled out from global warming. What's basically making all this stuff happen around the world? Nobody can explain it. He ends up going, oh, there's the power elite part. Give me one moment. That's setting up who the wedding's about. Remember, they just show the 666 here on this boat as the commentator, commentator Hmm, maybe it goes back a little further here. He says something about it being the hand of God. And then this is the relationship with that 666 symbol, which is the beast, which is telling you that it's all in responsibility to their God, what he's promoting, what he wants them to create and do. This ritual. Okay, it's on the bottom part was where it's going to be. That's why I didn't catch it. There we go. Buttons, for whatever reason, aren't working. There's the boat. He shows the boat. 
the wacky anomalies with the 666 on it and then there some are beginning to wonder if the hand of God is at work well that's exactly what this false professing church is trying to tell you and obviously their God is the beast but they don't see him as the beast but he's depicted in their symbolism as the beast obviously as Jesus Christ correctly informed us all that their father their God is the murderer and uh, you know they're think that they're so rich and that they got everything and that they can basically be the authors of the end of our life I mean it's on it's on do you realize what what we're actually fighting for we're fighting for our existence at the hands of Satanists there we go okay one second the camera is about to fall here Manhattan is all a buzz all right that is your assemblage for this wedding and who is invited this is your bride the guest list includes many of New York's power elite the York's power elite exactly right and that's what we saw in the other movie you see that and then I mean they're promoting all of their lesser workers to work fervently on YouTube to spread their messages and their deceptions and then to try to stop anyone like us from teaching this truth so that in hopes they think that they're going to be found worthy and be lifted up also. Well, the real message is, is that you're not. You're not. You're just uh, going to be a casualty. You're just going to be another number in reality here. Unless you're one of these super power elite, right? Like we saw depicted with that illuminated left eye. That's the message here. Let's continue. Now, this is where we should see the confirmation for this symbolic asteroid meteor thing coming from the dark side of the moon and that the designation is New York City for the hit. I mean, that's absolutely obvious right now. Pretty important right here. They're going to show you the Fantastic Four uh, commercialized... Uh, outfit with all the logos on it there see that now that is commercial endorsement as we see the four the fantastic four the 44 are commercially endorsed all right look at and think about this for a second this is commercial babylon also being shown in reverence with this 44 that's going to escape they are the power elite that's how they made their money and their control notice the symbolic double x which will show you now that that is what they are trying to convey that this 44 is the result of that sacred feminine which is that xx chromosome of the sacred feminine symbology right there at the center you see that the xx it's not saying that it's the reds any longer, is it not? No, it's revealing in code that it's the 44. It's revealing in code that it's the controller of commercial Babylon. Controllers of advertisements. Controllers of movies and entertainment. It's the controllers of the information, as you see. Right there. The XX. There was the inverted triangle right there. Okay, now we need to see something very important. That individual is entitled the Human Torch, by the way. This video is going to be coming to a close soon here. There's still so much. I mean, there is sim symbols everywhere that continually convey uh, their agenda in a secret manner. The whole thing.
doing all of these things in a evil, negative fashion to secure it. I mean, I, I, these people's hearts are absolutely cold. So many lies, so much deception. It just doesn't make any sense how people could equate this. I mean, you have to be, you have to be indoctrinated. You have to be taught this to, to somehow in your mind be contorted enough to accept that this plan of deception and murder and keeping everybody blind to the last second so that you could take advantage of them and cause the greatest casualty and loss of life. Incredible. And that only the super rich who have been making all of these uh, unhealthy products for our mind, body, and soul are the ones that are benefiting. Notice he's got the purple shirt on. Dude's got the shades on. He's hanging out with the rock. You know, does it get any more intense? So let's go forward. And this is where it shows that the 44 is intrinsically linked to the military, as you should understand. We've got that one more image to show you where they're going to, basically, here it comes, where they're going to reveal this anomaly, this meteor asteroid looking thing that's coming. They're going to reveal that the target, the intended target, is New York City. Pretty interesting. Uh, images right now remember Revelation chapter 18 verse 21 22 about the great millstone coming off the coast of that great city you're gonna see that image fulfilled as as you should know it's intrinsically linked to the arrival of the locust you, should, you guys should already understand all that so let us uh, continue here I mean, this is supposed to be family, wholesome entertainment, right? There's the pit. There's the hole. Perfect relationship with the sequence of the image of the meteor asteroid faked. You know, all being done covertly from their established base on the dark side of the moon. As this movie showed, that's where it's coming from. That's the symbolism in place. But the higher symbolism is, is only this super power, super wealthy, rich elite, as Jesus Christ described in the parable of Laodicea. Exactly. Just a few more moments here. Um, not much longer. Once again, the double X. There we go. Okay, as describing the wedding there, Mr. Fantastic got the purple star, which is in representation of what, people? Stars in representation of angel in, in Hebraic terms. They're showing this star as purple, symbolism for royalty, correct? And then he is wedding the invisible woman, which you would know in uh, occultic terms from the Vril Society, as the Vril energy. Notice it's a V, which is another inverted triangle, just like the Venus concept. Inverted triangle. Once again, the Virgin. Once again, the Goddesses. This is Ishtar. This is the Sacred Feminine. This is the coming together of the Jashin and the Boaz column, right there. And it's supposed to be what? The wedding of the century. Okay, this super wedding, this bride timed in perfect reflection of this bride professing on YouTube everywhere right now. In connection with the arrival of comets, right? In connection with their uh, profession of Jewish traditionalism, Jewish prophecy. I mean, they're even trying to fulfill and dress everything Jewish tradition right now. For what? You don't need to do that. You don't need to be anything more than what you already are. And that is a simple believer in the truth of Jesus Christ. You know, two great laws. Love your father with all your might. Love your neighbor as yourself. This whole deception is not neighborly. It is self-love of themselves that is promoting this type of heinous act. There is so much that in symbolism, a private ceremony, important, important. Notice that it's private.
in a private ceremony in New York. Private. Mm hmm. And it's a special select. It's a special elect to get to go to this. Who are they going to show you in symbolism is this super power wealthy super elect that is invited right there. Notice the Mercedes Mercedes Benz symbol is connected to the peace sign, which is more symbolage for these people and their occultic imagery. Now it's showing you, look, look who's there. Once again, it's like the Hollywood elite all over again, right before your face that are really the true and connected to these elite illuminated that are being invited to the super special secret private wedding of death ritual destruction by a blood sacrifice with a faked meteor like object coming from the dark side of the moon. Wow. Wow. So what does it take to date the human torch? Well, I would say it takes a whole lot of sand. Yeah. If you understand that term from the other movie gangs of New York, it takes a whole lot of sand to try to date the human torch. Incredible. Um, there's old Stan Lee trying to get into his own creation. This is what I was going to show you. And whether you guys can see this or not, this is the assemblage that is being shown right here. We have someone of African-American descendancy. Well, this character is blind. And her, her best friend is the invisible woman, which even makes her even harder to recognize by this African-American individual. And then they, they show her that she is dating the thing, which is this rock. In my opinion, it is, it is a higher message that they are trying to send to the ultimate top of the initiates and the illuminated that they are pulling the wool over the eyes of all peoples of ethnicity, not just these African initiates. I mean, check this out in the movie and see the way that the codes developed, as I've said from the other movie, and then see what they're displaying in this movie. This character is blind. She can't see. And her friends right in her midst are this rock-like thing, this torch thing, this Mr. Fantastic thing, and this wedding with this invisible bride with red hair. And it's happening right under her nose, and she can't recognize it. Wow. Wow. All an aspect of this money, this privilege, this supposed security, you know? You know, money, seemingly now, easy to understand where it's the root of all evil. And that's why Jesus Christ described that parable about easier to bring a camel through the eye of a needle than to bring the rich man through the gates of heaven. These are the rich that Jesus is talking about that you see are symbolizing themselves in a proud way through their own creation about what they're going to do. You think that Jesus Christ is not real? You think that Jesus Christ is not real? I'm sure many of you now are beginning to wonder. You're beginning to even form faith, whether it's even a faith in a sense where you're even entertaining more of a doubt as to, you know, if you didn't believe at all, you're like, okay. But I mean, now you're beginning to see actual tangible proof of the existence of Jesus Christ. You're seeing the Bible in a light that's never been shown to you before. You're seeing every way possible that the Spirit is supporting everything I've said over the last two years, and I can see it all crystal clear, you know? There's nobody else on YouTube that's doing this or can do this. I mean, you've got to be wondering, who am I? Well, don't wonder who I am. Wonder who is working through me. And that's the spirit of truth, Jesus Christ. Right here is where they're showing you the incoming asteroid comet and the intended destination is the east coast of the United States, which is going to be centered right at New York City. Boom. Now, where did you see? Look at this imagery, guys. Share this video with your friends. The time's about to go out, or not the time, the audio. Just give me a moment. Remember this rabbit snake.
that was the Sinai Peninsula that we showed is in connection to really who sees themselves as the descendants of this union of the serpent, the slobbering serpent. And then we see the rabbit, that's the union, the serpent seed, the fertility, the seeds of Genesis 6 at the Sinai Peninsula. Well, here we see now New York City being shown to you with the same geography. Right there, if I'm not mistaken, is the Five Points District. And I'm even seeing like a swastika beginning to develop in there. If you can't see it, it looks like there's the geometry for a swastika right there. Anyway, that is showing you right there where the critical hit is going to be. And somehow the geography is almost, in my opinion, a perfect reflection of what we see designating who sees themselves in relation to the sacred feminine. I mean, I don't know how to even express to you what I'm really going through over here on the other side of the camera and how I am, in essence, almost just amazed that, I mean, where are the people that are true? Where are the people that are true? And then if there's people that are involved in these orders, it's time for you to get out. It's time for you to understand what true shepherding is all about. It's not selective. It is trying to bring everything back unto the fold. Everything. It's not seeking to destroy the lives of men. Jesus Christ has come to save them. There's much more that we could show. I think it would be just best to end this here and then so that we can go back to the to the incredible parable from Jesus Christ about these eagles being gathered at a certain body which will fulfill this false bride in connection to the eagles that are being gathered at a carcass. And that carcass would be Mr. Fantastic on the dark side of the moon.